The Giro d'Italia is available to watch each and every day, live and on demand on GCN+. The peloton and fans alike were gearing up for the first big mountain top finish. An historical finish at Gran Sasso d'Italia, Campo Imperatore, where Marco Pantani won in 1999 and Simon Yates was a winner in the Maglia Rosa in a beautiful, breathtaking bit of landscape in the heart of the Apennines at high over 2,000 metres. The 2023 visit to Gran Sasso would be 219 kilometres long, starting in Capua and heading due north, going through Castel di Sangro for an intermediate sprint. Roccarazzo add up two classifier climbs to the finish, almost a copy-paste of the stage that Yates won in 2018. Gran Sasso d'Italia, not the hardest finish in terms of gradient, but the altitude coming into play, a big day on the bike. It looked very briefly like we might see a big fight for the breakaway as well. But any hope of that was extinguished when four men went away inside the first 10 kilometers. Petilli, the Italian, was there alongside Vacek, the Czech, Mulbrahan from Eritrea and Baiz, the other Italian there, as behind at the intermediate sprint it would be Pedersen who would take points back on Jonathan Milan in the fight for the Maglia Ciclamino. Team DSN had the Maglia Rosa and they would fight to defend it. They'd control the race, making sure that Petilli wouldn't threaten that pink jersey. But not much else was happening behind, apart from a barbecue that is. Arosticini, the local dish, add on hand to the riders as they dropped away from the main bunch. Thibaut Pino picking up easy King of the Mountains points, but at the end of the day he'd relinquish the jersey because the breakaway would be given the stage. The main group not interested on a day that was for spectacle one to forget, but for the breakaway one that they will remember forever. They got into the final kilometer with plenty of opportunity to fight. A grand total of zero pro with victories between three remaining riders. Mubrahan had dropped off halfway through the stage and Davide Baiz of Eolo Cometa would be there, fastest to the line. Only the second stage win in three attempts at the Giro d'Italia down the years. Eolo Cometa winning on Zoncolan, now winning at Gran Sasso. Second place to Vacek, third there going to Petilli. And behind Evenepoel, just about showing strength as the rest came in without gaps. There would be no change in the general classification. Lechnerson keeping pink, Baiz with the surprise of the day. Delight on the bus. And back in the Eurosport Spain commentary box as well. Alberto Contador's team victorious. And the result was that Davide Baiz would be the stage winner. Vacek second, Petilli third, and then the rest. No bonus seconds left by the time that Evenepoel and company came across the line. Points going to Thibaut Pino in the King of the Mountains competition, but he'd lose that jersey as Lechnerson kept Bink for a fourth day. Now the Norwegian that has spent most time in the Maglia Rosa in the history of the Giro d'Italia. Evenepoel still at 28 seconds and Paris Peintre at 30. Stage 8, a potential banana skin. Going north, going east, and again over 200 kilometers. A three-star stage with a finale that we've seen before in Tirena Adriatico. The stage finishes in Fossombrone, goes twice up the Salita dei Cappuccini, the only time a cappuccino will be permitted after 11 a.m. in Italy. The Giro d'Italia continues. You can watch it live and on demand as we near the first rest day on GCN+.